What's that white shit? April 6, 19, Uh. Yeah. Bam! Order in the court. Prosecutor Von Karma, your report, please. I have bad news. We've searched every inch of the Grand Tower, but... The Auction Devil was nowhere to be found. <coughs> that was most unfortunate. It seems... I am left with no choice but to pronounce a verdict. Well, it sure seems that way, you know. Normally, you wouldn't commit a blunder like leaving behind the murder weapon, you know? The best criminals would never do something like that, you see? <sighs> I don't have enough information. Is this as far as I can go? Yes, yes. It's a shame, you know. But it can't be helped, you see? This takes me back, you know? All those defendants who came to me asking for a plea bargain. They trusted me, you know? Told me every one of their dirty little secrets, you see? The amount of body parts I've come across, and when it, come, when it came time for the trial, I'd get them sentenced to life in prison. The, they were all completely dumbstruck, you know? Each and every one of them. Oh, how I wish you all could have seen it, you know? The, the stupid look on their faces. I shall hereby announce my verdict. Please humbly accept the words of the law. Nigga, we're not in court. There's nothing more I can do. With this, both Kay and I are... Do something magical. Oh. Evidence. Come on, speak up, Lada. I never thought that pass that I would be passing judgment on you like this. I'm pretty sure she wants to cry. Is this <laughs> the end? The defendant lays the best. I hereby indict you. Damn, let's go, heel turn. What? Bro. My honest reaction What's to that information. Into you What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I have here documents regarding a certain case. The IS-7 incident. A case that happened 18 years ago. Documents, you say? Why would you suddenly... Wait, you don't mean... Flashback. On the day of the crime... The record of your keycard being used was because... I came to this room to fetch these documents, of course. Although, when I entered the meeting room... It seemed it was before the black market auction had begun. At first, I told you that I came to gather documents about you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. At that time, I simply could not tell you the truth. Case files from the incident 18 years ago. Touch the check button for doo doo. Doopy! What are you doing, Justine? Why are you indicting Pops? Without any basis, this is slander! Shut up, scrub. Anyway, <laughs> that was a wonderful remark, Sebastian. I don't want no scrub. Oh? Really? Of course, there is a basis. During the case 18 years ago, Prosecutor Manfred von Karma fabricated information regarding the body. <laughs> if no one else got me, I know Manfred von Karma got me. Amen! <laughs> and that freaking German-American vampire! That was because the body of the sculptor, Isaac Dover, had been stolen. Are you fabricated new? information about a body? <laughs> Say it ain't so! Whoa! Man, how <laughs> you should know by now, Franny. Someone ain't sit her down and had to talk yet? Detective Lacer, who had the initial investigation, 
reported that the body had gone missing. However, in order to deceive Kudavan Karma, there is a person who purposely did not report to him that the body had disappeared. What? What did you say? What did you say? That, that person... That person would not forgive those who defied him, nor would he allow others to hold power. He would use any means necessary in order to bend others to his will. And then, also 18 years ago, Director Young was ordered by a certain individual to write a fake autopsy report. Dr. Young was the one who wrote that autopsy report for the IS-7 incident. Please wait! We didn't do anything wrong! She was ordered by that person! She had no other choice but to obey! That person? That person... ...was the chief prosecutor at the time. The chief prosecutor 18 years ago? You don't mean... Hood irony! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> ding ding! <laughs> Francesco. Oh, oh Francesco. <clears throat> the chief prosecutor who gave Papa his first penalty. It was none other than you, Blaze de Best. Him smiling. Fucking geeky. Ew. That's son over here. <laughs> what are you saying? Pops will never do something like that. Actually. Sebastian, we do not need your opinion right now. Yeah, sit down and let the grown ups talk. Blaze de Best, do you have a rebuttal? Fabricating stuff about the body. Von Karma did all that on his own, you know. Falsifying the autopsy report. Young. You would actually do something like that? You're talking like me now. Man, you, you really <laughs> did some terrible things behind my back, you know. Seeing as how all the parties concerned here. concerned are here today, we should ask them directly. Please wait, Granny's help. Granny, I'm sorry. I, I knew that's why. I... Yeah, because if you didn't, he said he would expose you. If I didn't assist in the crime, Granny would be prosecuted. That's what the man, the conductor, told me. That's a fact. Conductor, conductor. We have a problem. So, Miss Jensen. <sighs> Fuck. So, Miss Jensen was being threatened. Was the conductor who threatened you, Blaze, the best? Let's wrap this shit up. That, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking get off my screen. Let's wrap it up. person who threatened me was the auction Oh conductor. my god. This stupid ass antivirus keeps popping up on my screen. Get off my screen. Update. Let Update. my computer Update. die. I'm ready to die. <laughs> Die in peace. They do have similar physiques, but I've never seen the person's face. You know, I don't want to see. Any trivial thing is fine. Give us a characteristic that could be a clue. That's right. The conductor's mess, it's exposed just a tiny part of his face. There was a tattoo there, I'm sure of it. The conductor wore a white jacket with a purple flower, white gloves, and a mask. Has a facial tattoo. Part of the clan. Uh, get the clippers out. A tattoo. Off. You a tattoo. You say. Objection. Holy shit. Ew. <laughs> you forgetting? I keep. I forgot how that. That doesn't sound like a foreboding or I don't even know what the word is. It just comes in so hard. I don't understand how to. I don't understand why. Objection. <laughs> I really have no idea what you're talking about, you know? I mean, Phoenix don't come in like that. As you can see, there are clearly no tattoos on my face. You see? So that person doesn't match me at all. 
you know. Takes off his goggles. There's two black goes. teardrops. <laughs> That'll be super hard to say he's a crying bitch ass nigga. The person who threatened her, the so called conductor. I wonder who it is, you know? You have incurred the wrath of the goddess of law. I suggest you watch what you say. Goddess of law been sleep for the past five cases, nigga. <laughs> Has he encouraged your own wrath, rather than the wrath of the goddess? Honestly, I think they're one and the same at this point. Mm. Maybe. Jill it's Crane like Angel. Been pursuing you, <laughs> oh, just no. as I have. <laughs> and I will not let her death be in vain. She said, you're next, for real. Crane was... you know... You said she was pursuing me? Part 8 reference, let's go. My, my, I didn't really know her that well, you know? I don't mind girls chasing after me, you know? But I don't recall her ever falling for me, you see? Bruh. Who said? You didn't know the victim well. That is a testimony we haven't heard up till now. Before the eyes of the Goddess of Law, you shall give us official testimony. I see, I see. Everyone is bullying me. How to fuck me. If you're gonna go for that far, that's fine, you see. I was horny anyway. I'll just have to make you disappear. Like this, you see that? Yeah, you're done. Every last one of you. <laughs> Don't mean. <make> Every! <laughs> he starts fucking like a child. <laughs> I shall cooperate with you as well. We let this opportunity slip by. I doubt we will ever get him to stand in court again. <laughs> that man going to Alaska. Please, do not let this chance go to waste. Yes. I promise I will live up to your expectations. Well, we already failed earlier. Like, literally trials now ago. Now then, Blaze the Best, you shall testify regarding the victim. Ew, his eyes. Yeah, y'all said that last time. Can we brave it? The victim, Jill Crane, was a member of the prosecutor Prosecutorial Investigation Committee. Pick, you see. Hold on, let me spark this up. Personally, I didn't really know her that well, you know? Either way, it's not like I had a motive to murder her, you know? The classic. I have no idea why she was pursuing me, you see? You intend to deny your guilt until the bitter end, don't you? That's how this usually goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Of course he does. <laughs> There's no way Pops could be a criminal. Way to go. I mean, he's my Pops, you know? He's the very best. Like no one ever was. The test... It... <sighs> Alright, nigga. If you're gonna stick up for me, be sure to have a clear basis, you know? If you're gonna stick up for me, make sure you're wearing your condom first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you need to oh, die. Uh, Alright, I got it. Yeah, I'll clear you of these false accusations, Pops. I believe in you, Pops. We won't let- uh, we won't lose to someone like Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> we won't lose to no fake-ass screenshots. Yes, yes. You really are a peer, you know? He really is. He's gonna get fucked. That person, he really loves his father, doesn't he? The hell? However, one must one must be able to accept the mistakes of their father. And no, you're not talking. <laughs> no matter how much they may look up to him. Oh, Franny character moment! Let's go! Each person must atone for their crimes, no matter who they are. This is going to be hard for Sebastian, but... Shit. <laughs> I simply cannot overlook his father's what? crimes. It's like, it's okay, Sebastian. We all got let down by our parents. Now it's your turn. Sebastian, like, yeah, not to become an orphan. Like, literally, like, all parents are as. The victim, Jill Crane, was a member of the penis implosion chamber, you see? 
That's Cap. We have evidence to disprove that. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, he's not really- he doesn't really fly that way, you know? Go to the right. Personally, I didn't really know her that well, you know? Pretty sure we got false. The penis implodes in chamber. Oh, um, it's over with. It's okay. <laughs> That's not the badge. Um, go to the right. <laughs> Hold on, we're about to go to a long path. Go back. You said we're about to go, go through to every the right, single uh, page. <coughs> One more. What does that doc say on the bottom? 18 years what ago. Just check it. Manfred von Karma, Gregory Edgeworth, Isaac Dover, Jeffrey Master. Oh yeah, Scones Hall and Gustavia. Maybe Shield is really kind of chubby. That was a BBW. <laughs> Go back. Go back. She really ate that whole thing, bro. What the fuck is wrong with her? And it went to oh, all wait. the right Did you mean the left page or left page, yeah. Go beside the dead bitch. <laughs> to the right. He card. Back. Actually, we didn't press anything, did we? Go back. No. Man, press you're up. like, let's present you. No, I didn't. Let <laughs> me look at what we got. First so, of you're, all. so you're saying you weren't very familiar with the victim? That's right. You didn't even know about the burn mark on Crane's hand, you see? You didn't know about the burn mark? See, even if I had gotten close to her, she would have disappeared soon. It's a pain to remember someone, you know, when, when they're just gonna disappear. You see? How did you know she was gonna disappear? In other words, anyone who defies him disappears. I would like you to add your statement about the victim's burn to your testimony. I only just learned that she had a burn mark on her hand, you see? Alright, yeah, now let's look at her evidence. Oh, hold on, let me press that. Okay, so you're saying that you didn't know about the victim's burn. Is that really the truth? You really are persistent, you know? Do you really think I would pay attention to every little wound on a woman's hand? Damn. I would think the burn mark on the victim's hand would be hard to miss. The burn. Now that you mention it... Jill Crane would regularly wear gloves. Mm. I too did not know about the burn until the incident occurred. Jill Crane regularly wore gloves. I thought so. She was probably trying to hide the burn mark, you see. You understand how sensitive a woman can be about these things, you know? I would like you to add your so called sensitive understanding of a woman to your testimony. Maybe she was always wearing gloves in order to hide the burn mark, you know? Yeah, the left. Um, bottom left? Uh, bottom left. Hey, let's look at the conductor clip. Oh, wait, no, we can. Oh. oh, shit. Go to the right. Go to the right. A lot of her. Actually, wait, what did a lot of say? Uh, you know, she bad as hell, so we gotta listen to what she's saying. Uh, Jesus Christ is a lot. Alright, you know what I'm Mask. The mask. Check was. Go to the right. Uh, check that. Oh yeah, let's look at this. This has a burn mark. Oh, that. I. Fuck. Wait, is this? Is this too advanced? Someone is talking to the person. Present it. Be a fire helper. Faith. Sure, you want to jump ahead? Sure, let's do it. When have we ever lost by doing that? <laughs> Jill Crane regularly wore gloves. If that is true, then it creates a huge contradiction. Wow. A huge contradiction, you say? 
I would like you to listen to the voices recorded on this stuffed animal one more time. I'm good. Freddy Fazbear. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I know you are. You can't hide that burn. That pretty pic you got burned from me. Silence, huh? Who was saying this? Me? Yes. I've been waiting for my chance to get revenge all this motherfucking time. I think they oh, have shoot. a voice module. Spoilers. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh man, we're not supposed to know that Blaze the Vest is uh, the killer. No, oh, but he's using a voice changer. No we one's were, gonna know who it is. We were under the impression that this was the moment when the victim was murdered. I knew who you were right away. You can't hide that burn from me. We thought that this statement was said by the culprit. It isn't that fun. What's the problem, you know? <laughs> There's a huge problem with that. If the victim had been wearing gloves from the start, it would have been impossible to see the burn on her hand. Dang it. Objection! The gloves come off very easily, you know. She could have taken them off during the auction. That's... Kind of bullshit. Rue? Miss Crane had been wearing her gloves when I took her place. She must have been wearing them before she was murdered. What the fuck are you, you? Don't you understand the position you're in? Um, not scared anymore. I got Granny here with me. She'll beat your ass. Nice. Blaze, you're dead. Reckoning it's kind of like him. Somehow it seems like you all want to disappear. Oh fuck <laughs> him. Permanently. It's like, ah. Oh. No, 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 the only one who will be disappearing here is you, Blaze the Best. This dude. It's your bitch ass. Hey, oh. how dare you say that to Pops? <laughs> Does it really matter if the burn mark was visible or not? It certainly does matter. If the burn mark was visible, then we'd have a complete turnabout of the situation. What are you saying? If the victim's burn mark was visible, uh, wasn't visible, what exactly does that tell you? The culprit also had a burn mark? I think it's the thumb. Hey, that sounds like a good, um, twist. Let's go with that. Which one? Top. 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 Oh, that's for top. Give me some time. Sebastian, no! turn your top way of thinking bottom. around. If the victim was wearing gloves, Shh. then her I'm burn so mark. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> the famous Mia quote. You have to turn your thinking around. You gotta force me. Who are you even talking? Never mind. If the victim was wearing gloves, oh, nothing bad, I promise. Then her burn mark could not have been seen. In that case, whose burn mark was seen? Someone else's burn mark. Precisely. The culprit must have had a burn mark as well. In other words, I knew who you were right away. You can't hide that burn from me. The person who said this was not the culprit, but the victim. What? He sounds like victim, so. A crusty ass objection. Can you fuck off? <laughs> Tell that Mom, to son. Whole fucking PIC. Edward, <laughs> all your reasoning up till now was just a figment of your imagination, you know? Your Raya. You were thinking all this shit up through your mind. The culprit had a burn mark? Where was it, huh? If you can't answer that, then your logic doesn't hold up. You know? <laughs> Where was the culprit's burn mark? On his penis, babe. <laughs> On his ass. I wonder where the bird mark could have been. During the auction, wasn't everyone wearing a disguise? He wants to be Aizen so bad. What? <laughs> uh, well, I guess I wouldn't get that anyways. Indeed, during the auction, everyone should have been dressed in a particular way. If the bird mark was still visible under those conditions, then... Now, now, why don't you show us? Where the fuck was the culprit's burn? You have to show me the proof. 
Yes, see. Show them the evidence. Go to the uh, left. You just click on that green mask that we got. Go oh, to shit. the left. Oh, yeah. We have a green <coughs> mask? No. No. Go to the bottom left. That clothes right there. Let's go. I guess. Yes. Let's take a look, bro. You can't. Yeah. Oh. That's Present. A... Yeah, plenty of health. <laughs> Nigga. It was what conductor was wearing during the auction. In other words, the outfit you were wearing at the time. Shit, I mean. <laughs> what can you figure out from the clothes alone? The conductor had been wearing a white suit, white gloves, and a mask. His attire had covered up most of his skin. However, according to Miss Jensen's testimony, the conductor's mask exposed a small part of his face. In addition, while she thought that while she thought there had been a tattoo there, it's possible that she simply mistook the burn mark for a tattoo. A tattoo? Nick, kill yourself. <laughs> A barn mark on his face. I would have seen that. That's all very s bullshit, but I'm afraid you're getting excited over nothing, you know. What is it today? Scintillating. <laughs> None of the PIC members asked. I mean, have. Damn, this should enter my screen. Have any burn marks on their faces, you see? Naturally, that includes me as well, you know. Stops, but can you shut the fuck up, dear God? If you're an idiot, then act like one, you know. Damn. Damn. Abuse. Normally, Sebastian is a nuisance to everyone around him, but this time, I owe him my gratitude. That <laughs> reaction from Blaze's own son—it reveals the truth more clearly than anything else. Thanks to him, I am confident that my reasoning is correct. I know who that unidentified piece of evidence belongs to. I wonder what's wrong with that prosecutor. Usually, Sebastian is slower to arrive at the truth than anyone else. However, this time he has probably figured it out. His own father is a criminal. A thug. Since he knows the truth, he's... In pain, isn't he? If he didn't know the truth, he could have remained blissful in his ignorance. Okay, we're here in order to pursue the truth. It doesn't matter what path my reasoning takes, the important thing is to arrive at the truth. Once before, when I lost faith in my reasoning, you said that to me and showed me the way. This time, I shall show you the truth. You are innocent. Do you know the way? I... Hey, Pogchamp. I also want to know the truth. Mr. Edgeworth, please tell me. Yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> that's impossible, you know, for all of you. For all the dogs. I mean, just know where, just where could I possibly have a burn mark? Yeah. It's nowhere to be found, you see. There's no evidence to prove that I'm the culprit. Ya yeah, no. That's right. There's no contradiction at all. There's no way there can be a contradiction. Not for my pops. Sebastian, I understand why you don't want to admit it. However, if you avert your eyes from the truth, you will regret it forever. No. P -p pops what, what, what do I do? <laughs> Holy what honest fuck, reaction this nigga's to that mouth is still open. I really wonder why you're such an idiot, you know? Sebastian, look, if you really want to save me, you have to try a little bit harder, you see? Gotta use your head, you know? Honestly, you really are a useless fucking goddamn piece of shit idiot! <laughs> Damn. That reminds me of that video of this little kid carrying like a cake or like a picture or something. He was carrying something to his dad. And his dad was like, "Oh, look at him! Look at look look at!" Them. And then he dropped it. And he was like, "Oh, you you piece of you ain't worth shit." <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Man, no way. I tried real hard. I tried my best, Pops. I'm sorry, I'm slow, man. I went to the school you told me to go to. Reached the top of my class just like you told me to. I think this is the wrong sprite for that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> just look at this jacket. Only someone who graduates the top of the class gets to wear it. I did everything you told me to. That's how I got to be the best at the academy. I even won all those awards. Just like, just so I could be like you, Pops. Damn. Damn. You you burning it all away. <laughs> he, bur <laughs> he burns KYS into the <laughs> paper. <laughs> That's hard as fuck. You really are such an idiot, you know. That's so, fucked up though, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is like bad. You know those gold stars you got on your test? I made the Oh wow. I made the oh, teachers fuck. give them to you. Damn! You didn't Every earn that shit. Speech and debate contest, all the judges were all, were my friends, nigga. This shit was scripted. You know, Sebastian, if you weren't even able to notice something like that. You're really not worthy of being called my son, don't you think? Alright, now that he disowned you, cock him the fuck up. Ah ah ah! They ran crying. Ah ah! Rolanda, please share your thoughts. <laughs> uh, even my son has I disappeared. Just hear <laughs> you just disowned him. <laughs> of course he ran away. <laughs> oh my, it's enough to make a ray cry. He was trying his best for me, and yet, fuck, he was such a- Oh my god, bro, like, I don't even want to finish the sentence, he pisses me off. You truly are despicable. As the chairman of the PIC, and as a father. Boo. Even I feel sorry for that foolish prosecutor. I don't relate, though. Poor Mr. Prosecutor. Okay, well, like Blaze the best. You. Just what do you think of your own son? I mean, I told you. I think he just said it. He's not gonna lie to you. Have to um, clear, you know? He's just a useless pawn, you see. Whoa, now. Maybe you should look in the mirror before you criticize me, you know? <laughs> I mean, shit, even you. You also used Sebastian to get close to me, didn't you? Oh, yes, oh, sir. I'm on his yes. side. Oh. I cannot deny that. <laughs> However, like that. <laughs> he is not a mere pawn. He's just a little Raya. <laughs> he always tries to do his very best, even if his results aren't up to par and he's a scrub. It's awful <laughs> and everything like that. <laughs> I've seen just how hard he tries, and yet you refuse to even acknowledge it. I'm the tribal chief. <laughs> oh, up. That kid is no good, you see. No matter what he does or is told to do. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave this offering of the Goddess of Law to you. Is it hope it's evidence? Deliver so his ass. divine. Deliver her divine judgment handle against Blaze de Best. Really was handle my light. Is the Goddess of Law like P? Who? What? Uh, never mind. Yes, that was my intention from the beginning. If there was a burn mark on the conductor's face, then Blaze the Best must be hiding it. What was he wearing during the auction? That is the key to revealing the truth. Well then, allow me to hear your answer. It's in depth. Okay, no trial. Please show us the piece of evidence. That proves the culprit had a burn mark on his face. Ask. Made out of cheap plastic. Holy hell, nah. Yeah, go back. <laughs> you tried your best, man. Uh, what does that flower say? Torn off to, uh, from the victim's clothes. I'm trying to refresh my memory. Okay, never mind. That's not it. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? Next page. Uh, what do those collections of masks say? Hey, let's look at those. 
Oh, we can't even zoom in on them, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, go back. Save that in the back for later. <clears throat> what else? What does the top paper say? Uh, the key card? Go to the right twice. The One conductor's close. The lot of Let's testimony. Go oh, I can... I can... <laughs> go to the right. <laughs> click that other... Click that paper. The testimony? Karen? Let me see what they say. I already read what Lotta said. It's just gay bullshit. Prepared wigs. Straight wig with the wig. The weeby wig was right, left right, unused. Right. Any chance the brand marks in his hair? That'd be so random. Maybe, bro. He has a lot of hair. Yeah. Wait. How do you check it again? How do you hide a fucking brand mark in your hair? Wouldn't the hair be burned too? Like, what? You need to color it. Or get extensions. Okay. Alright. Well, I mean, if it's not any of the things we checked, I need to see. I just, uh, all I know is it's gonna be somewhere on his head, but uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out like. Uh, what does the hoodie say? Worn by victim. Okay. Oh. Uh. Back. I wonder what happened to that wavy wig. You know. Wait, you think he's still wearing the wig? Most likely. Yeah, probably, bro. So we present the testimony? Sure. We got plenty of health. If you would recall Miss Jensen's testimony, there's still one point that remains unexplained. Two types of wigs had been prepared. One of which was left unused. Do you mean the wavy wig? It waves. What are you talking about? It was something Miss Jensen found when she switched the places with the victim. What? What does something like that have to do with the burn? Inside the costume trunk, Miss Jensen witnessed two wigs. One of them had been used by Miss Jensen to make her look like the victim. Now then, just what was the other wig used for? It doesn't seem like there was a spare wig. There's no need to overthink it. Just compare the attire of the true culprit and the conductor with that of Blaze the Best. Don't stare at me like that! Don't you think there's just one spot where there is a huge contradiction? Specifically, around his face. No. So that's... <laughs> not real hair. Not a wig at all. <laughs> you know Indeed. It was no wig. Blaze the best. It was your fake beard. What the fuck? No, 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 now is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> This is a real beard, you know? It's real shit. Ignore the smell of fake hair that got burned. Yeah, ignore, yeah. Ignore that. Um, don't tease me like that, Edgeworth. Your son must have realized the truth before anyone else. That's why he wasn't- he was trying so desperately to protect you. You were also worried that he would tell the truth. Isn't that why you drove your son away from here? Because... He knew that his father was hiding a burn under his fake beard. <laughs> Blaze the best. <laughs> How about you remove that fake beard of yours? Uh -uh. Damn, flamethrower. <sighs> he burned that shit. Damn. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> He's a skinhead. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> ah, burn mark. That Whoa, <laughs> good reaction. <laughs> that track is just that has unmatched like. <laughs>
like no, oh that's maximum sadness <laughs> that's like well i would say every <laughs> sad spongebob track has that kind of energy to it. <laughs> yeah except for that's the, that's the most whelp track in the whole show <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. Justice has been served before the goddess of law. For that, I give you my thanks. Yeah, whatever. I'm SpongeBob. I should be the one thanking <laughs> you. Yeah. Place the best. I hereby Make announce my verdict. <laughs> you shall be taken into custody for the murder of Jill Crane. I should like a, a shotgun. Well, you had to burn all of Guilty. it here off, though. Like, damn. Because... Rule 6944 AM. Um... Thank you, Danny. Mr. Edgeworth, thank you very much. Yes? I'm so happy that you believed me until the very end. There's no need to thank me. As a prosecutor. No. As a friend, I simply wanted to save you. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I bring good tidings. Finally. It seems that the former Chairman DeBeth has already been safely detained in a detention center. However, the search for the murder weapon at auction gavel continues. Blaze DeBeth is a shrewd man. There is a good chance it has already been disposed of. There is also one piece of testimony that concerns me. Least to best mentioned the only thing he did not fake were the letters. What do you mean? First, he found this letter in Jill Crane's clothes. Then, he also found this letter on Kay, who was unconscious in the storeroom. The contents of the letter seemed to suggest the two had been corresponding with each other. Which is why Blaze de Bess assumed the two were working together. Ridiculous. That can't be right. After reading the two letters, he decided to pin the crime on Kay Faraday. In order to cast suspicion on her, he planted one of the letters in a noticeable spot. The deceased... The deceased Jill Crane's left breast pocket. Isn't that just an excuse? Yes, that is what I thought as well. It may simply have been the last ditch effort to save himself. However, before the stern eyes of the goddess of law, these are all trivial matters. His crime shall certainly not go unpunished. With this, I have finally fulfilled my long one of my long standing missions. Judge Courtney, will you tell me what you know? Why did Blaze the Best murder Jill Crane? And what lies hidden beneath, behind this case? Yes, I don't mind. You have the right to know everything. Oh shit. Long ago, Jill Crane was in love with a cameraman. That man was pursuing the black market auctions as a journalist. And then, before he could reach the truth, he was erased. The feelings and the items Miss Crane inherited from her beloved brought her to the auction. She had come to exact revenge on the conductor, Blaze. <coughs> Although, in the end, she was the one who was murdered instead. Respect for her spinning back, though. Right, mm -hmm. Yeah! I see. So that's what happened. While the Goddess of Law cannot condone her actions, we have succeeded in her goal of bringing Blaze the best luck crimes to light. So, Judge Courtney's goal was to expose Blaze the best and reveal the dark secrets of the PIC. 
Um, by the way, what happened to the young prosecutor? He had a scrub. We have been unable to contact him for some time now. Bro's having a villain arc. <laughs> Do you have any idea where he might be? He's about to become the next yeah. uh, Manfred Von Karma. My first <laughs> war. Oh, well. oh, never mind. <laughs> I had not truly been working for him, so. <laughs> whoops. I see. He's like, whoops, he was just a cup. I feel very sorry for him. you should feel sorry for is the fact that he was kept in the dark until now. No matter how cool now he is, he will have to accept it. If he can't, he won't be able to walk his own path in life. Ever. A father's influence is not something that is easily erased. However, I'm sure he'll be able to change from here on out. Yes, that's right. Surely, you must be right. I don't know, he just got revealed that he was actually on Fraud Watch the entire time. <laughs> I had to dig deep. <laughs> Will I, too, be able to walk my own path in life? He's the honest. Yeah, probably. Okay, is your body alright? Yes, thanks to you. You know what? Fuck you. Push off the building in and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I might just come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so sorry. Even though you're my it's patient, an experiment. you ended up getting suspected because of me. Ow! You can't just take care of the patient's body. You gotta take care of the heart too. That's my granny. Okay, how are your memories? I feel like. On the verge of remembering something. Yeah. Well then, I shall take my leave of here. I will be presiding over Patricia Rowland's trial. That would be the trial for the murder of Horace Knightley. Who's in charge oh, yeah, of the defense? Miss Crane was supposed to be his def was supposed to be her defense attorney, but now. <laughs> but she has Lamel. passed away. I mean, not Lamel, but you know. We are currently arranging for a placement defense attorney. If only one person. Jill Crane had been in charge of Patricia Rowland's defense. I'll also have to get in contact with Sebastian quickly, since he's the prosecutor in charge. Then nigga's like, I quit! Well, well then. Please wait. What about Mr. Edgeworth's prosecutor badge? Oh no, he's fucked, bro. Oh, well, it's too what late. What happened to his badge? Give it back. <laughs> they should With give it to Lada so that Lada can give it to Edgeworth. Uh, mm -hmm. right. With the chairman's arrest, yeah, the PIC is no longer functional. Damn, they all got Thank God. So, I cannot answer that question easily. He actually killed the higher ups. Let's go. Perhaps one could say, only the goddess of law. Knows. Here comes Cersei. But that's. Uh... You don't need to worry about me. This is the path that I've chosen. It seems you have no plans to change it either. Of course not. I chose this path to seek the truth. With the departure of Blaze the Best, the law has once again returned to our hands. If you truly desire to continue the prosecutor's path, I am willing to assist you in reclaiming your badge. You're law school again, bro? I appreciate the sediments, but I must decline. I did not relinquish my badge with half-hearted feelings. I see. It seems that our path, the law will continue to run counter to each other. <laughs> Until our paths cross once again, I shall have you hold on to that badge. That was my intention from the start. God, just start fucking. <laughs> yeah, please. However, on occasion, the goddess of law is quite generous. 
please return this notebook to its proper owner. Kay's promise notebook. It seems this was scheduled to be put up for bidding at the black market auction. Uh. <laughs> the name K is written on the notebook. It seems Blaze the Best quickly realized this belonged to this girl. Since the letters he found also contain the same name. You speak as if he, are, he really did not know about the letters. Are you saying that Blaze really did not prepare the letters himself? Yes, that man said so himself. Oscar? Kay Faraday's goal was to steal back the notebook. Jill Crane's goal was to get revenge. In order to achieve their goals, the two teamed up to infiltrate the auction. Or so he says. Unfortunately, this was all Blaze's, min Blaze's misunderstanding. It was purely a coincidence. If the attorney from the PIC and K really were acquaintances, it would be strange that she never mentioned it to me, considering her personality. <laughs> you really do trust her, don't you? In the end, the notebook was used as another red herring, but... It's something that is very important to that girl, isn't it? I'll make a special exception and return it. I'm sure that's what the Goddess of Law desires. That's... um... I appreciate it. I shall pray that she recovers her lost memories. I do. Um, is something wrong? Okay. I am returning something very important to you. Hold on, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. Man. Ah! This is... Yeah, it is. <laughs> Always greet people with a smile. Even people you don't know. Never cry in front of strangers. Is that a reference to Zootopia? Look, Daddy! I wrote them all down! Yep! I'll be sure to follow all of our promises and become a hero, just like you, Daddy! Ah, that's right. There was one more. I forgot to write down the most important promise. Promise number five. Always try your hardest to learn about things you don't understand. Hehe. <laughs> I'll be sure to remember. I'll never, ever forget them. I know a lot of niggas that never wrote down promise number five. <laughs> <laughs> Always try your hardest to learn th things you don't understand. Th that's right. I... I'm... Hi. You are my special. The other grass who she just pulls up the fucking clothes. <laughs> I am the great thief who steals the truth, Kay Faraday. I'm the second Yatagarasu and Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I thought she was gonna say I'm Golden Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Kay, you remember? Hey, it's kind of embarrassing though. Thanks you so much. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Even when I lost my memory, you were still always trying to save me, right? <laughs> it seems you're back to normal. Well, Kay, you've gotten better. Your health comes first. Now you can relax. And make sure you don't run off and lose all your memories again. No jump off a building or some shit. Uh, <laughs> Miss Jensen, Dr. Young, thank you for worrying about me. Hey, if you're feeling all better, how about changing back into your own clothes? I'll wash your clothes for you, Kay, so they're nice and clean. These clothes, 
Wasn't Detective Gumshoe holding on to them? Yes, the Gumshoe death scene. Let's go. He said forensics was done with them, so he gave them back to me. <laughs> Have they revealed the results of the analysis yet? Hmm, to be honest, I actually didn't think about to ask about that. And uh, more importantly, let's hurry up and get you changed, Kay. Hmm. Still, isn't it better if we do not remove her bandages? She should be fine now, you know, she only fell off a building and bumped her head. She didn't really have any major injuries, she just fell off a building. Then, yeah. why was she so heavily bandaged? Better safe than sorry! A pound of prevention is worth an ounce of a cure, that's my motto! What a troublesome motto. Come on, Kay, let's get you all dressed up over there! Hell no. Now, this is definitely what a great thief should look like. A smile certainly suits you best. Blue, you're and back. Hat. And now as well. Yeah, don't uh don't don't draw attention to it. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, thank you for coming too. I um uh I only came here because Scruffy asked me to. <clears throat> That's Scruffy. He also wanted to see your energy self again. Gummy! What happened to Gummy? Did he die? <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <No. laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Maybe he was disgusted with the man who willingly threw away his prosecutor's badge. No, wink, that's just wink, you talking about nudge, yourself. Nudge, <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. I must be going soon. I'll be taking these ladies in for questioning. Fuck. <laughs> uh, what's going to happen know. to the two of them? We're going to jail! <laughs> One idiot. <laughs> I'm going to jail! <laughs> <laughs> One aided in the murder of an attorney, the other forged an autopsy report 18 years ago. Those crimes definitely will not disappear. I'm dying in jail. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I will mention in the court that they were that they were being blackmailed by Blaze. We'll be just fine as long as Granny's by my side. We're invincible. We're and then it cuts to the title card. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well then, take care. I don't know, Grandma seems like she's a staunch criminal. No, then, Kay. But is still here. <laughs> yeah, what is she <laughs> here <laughs> for? <laughs> she's just standing there. They're, they're trolling me. Glitched. They're trolling me. <laughs> <laughs> she's glitched. Sorry to ask so soon, right after you regained your memories, but I have some questions. Just like sure. me. Sure. A M A. A M A. What will you do? Six 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 ALM Donald Trump Joe Biden. What were you? <laughs> what were you doing on the day you lost your memories? On that day, I was asked to come to the to Gord Lake. On this day. I don't know who called me there though. As I was watching the moon at Gord Lake, a person in a red raincoat approached me. All of a sudden, he used some kind of drug to knock me out. Drugs? Oh, hey, 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 hey. What is she saying? The place yeah, where Kay saw the bomb. moon was at Gord Lake? When I woke up, it seemed I somehow ended up at the roof of the Grand Tower. My mind was still in a daze, so I stumbled around for a bit. That's when I found the person in the red raincoat collapsed. I was startled, and when I stepped back in a panic, I fell off the building. I fell from a high place and got knocked out cold again. Well. And when I woke up, my memories were all gone. That's funny as fuck, I gotta say. The person in the red raincoat, who exactly was that person? No, oh, yeah. I'm certain that I saw them walking in mid-air. Hmm. 
Put iron. Somehow this is starting to make my head hurt. Ding ding. <laughs> Please calm down. You're just a little confused because you've only recently gotten your memories back. Most likely, this is the main cause of your confused memories. Memories of two play. I'm just kidding, she fell in a hole. <laughs> you said what, tables? He don't know. There's Someone no else figure bar. it out. There's no health bar, so, uh. Um... I mean, I know it's not the name on the notebook, so. At the tiger by its toe, middle one. Well. I fuck with the middle. Malcolm in the middle? <laughs> this is probably the main cause of your confused memories. You're not the boss of me now! That song's right here. And you're not so big. You saw the moon at both the Gord Lake Park and the Ground Tower rooftop. Which led you to confuse the two places. Huh? But... Aren't they totally different places? Even if I was in the days, do you really think I'd get them confused? Most likely, there was something at the Grand Tower which led, your con which led to your confusion. Well, shit. Wow. Uh, I didn't think we get this far. It's not Honestly. time to clock out yet, brain cells. Um, thing was that there a tree there? there? Was there a tree? The tree? The tree? The tree? What are you getting so the pissy tree? for, Tables? Man, it's your pissy. Where's Vlada at? Where the fuck is my girl? <laughs> your girl. I'm That's the hood girl the right yeah. here. I'm just. I'm... She belongs to the streets. <laughs> the Grand Tower rooftop and Gord Lake have two points in common. They both have a cherry tree and a food stall. Like a lukewarm spice. Ha! Huh. Now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Your memories were confused because you had been in two similar locations. The person that you first saw could not have been walking in midair. They were simply walking on the ground at Gord Lake Park. You must have gotten that scene confused with the Grand Tower rooftop. So, so that's what happened. How dare they steal the memories of the Great Thief? They'll have to pay for this! Fade to black. Nevertheless, I wonder who the person that assaulted Kay was. The person in the red raincoat, who appeared at Gort Lake. Hmm... Oh, is that Lada's phone right there? Hey, you got a phone call. What's that noise? Ring, 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 ring. Uh, sounds like it's coming from the storeroom. <laughs> and There's not Lada. Bomb it's it's chest. Let's go yeah, check it cool. out. I hope it's not a bomb. There's Lada. Put that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> My shutterbug sense is tingling. I smell me another scoop. You're still here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> She's not even moving. Okay, there she is. April 6, 9, 53 AM! Pretty early, bro. Mr. Edgeworth, Very this walkie-talkie a... thing here is what's beeping. Hmm. This transceiver. It's gonna explode in three Why do seconds. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before? Shit. It... It's still beeping, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm not particularly familiar. I'm not particularly familiar with this sort of device. Come on, we have to answer it. Here goes. Hello, Edgeworth speaking. Oh, That's on. not it. Okay, please don't just answer on your own. Yet. I mean, <laughs> don't use my government. All right. <laughs> Nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James. Got my bad. There's um, uh, there's some I'm stuck in my throat. Animatronic picked up the phone. Yeah, it was, it was the night fly <laughs> phone call. I am speaking with Miles Edgeworth, I presume. Be rare if, if you didn't think that, considering what she said. But. This voice is Shelly the Killer. No ah! order, please. 
Oh, my you. fault. That's me. Yeah, that is you, Blue. <laughs> I congratulate you on resolving this case. However, can you truly say in good conscience that it has been solved? That's what I'm saying. Are you aware of the mastermind who is pulling the strings behind this incident? You. Why do you know about the incident? That is not important right now, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? Right now, we are discussing the mastermind behind this case. I've had an inkling that such a person existed even before you said anything. After all, there was evidence to suggest that someone had used Cade to disrupt the investigation. Huh? There was? So, who's this mastermind? I would like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Would you kindly show me the evidence that indicates the existence of a mastermind? No. Uh... The bun, yeah. What did we uh, not use? I S7 incident. I guess we haven't used that yet. Check it. <laughs> what does it say? Check it. Oh yeah, we did look at that. Discovered inside the master's mansion. Next. Next. Hmm, where that body at though? There are no clues to whereabouts of Dover's son or Gustavia's son, who until the day before the incident regularly visited Mr. Master Mansion. <laughs> I'm guessing that's, uh, the answer. Yeah. Honestly, I vibe with that. Probably not, but who cares? He says, <laughs> Do you disagree? Um, I mean, even if he does disagree, like, there's no health bar, so. Like, yeah, and like, I, don't, I care about my friends, like, thoughts towards me so i'm gonna agree with them for now well i don't know if this is one of those things where uh you get one chance i don't know if this is like what, the end of the we're case thing but in. like no i don't know if this is like the end of the case thing where like if it doesn't continue if you get it wrong so i'm just gonna say you're wrong okay right. damn. damn i'm smart all right go back i know exactly what it is now that you said that you're wrong that they're wrong and not me go to the left Is it the mask? You got me. <laughs> I don't know. Go to the side, right? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> There's blood. Let's go <laughs> Be a killer, right? Yeah, let's go with that. Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't talking. Is it, is it correct? <laughs> the table is always it's trying to I'm right. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was not even uh, talking to him. I was going to get something else. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Yo, did you see that, um... Holy uh, shit. Why am I about to say Diary okay, of the Wolfie Kid? Uh, it was the letter <laughs> that Kay allegedly sent to the victim. I wonder... The Never mind. <laughs> Wait, what's getting a remake? Nothing. The Last of Us Part 2. Nothing. Fuck. Come to think of it, I don't remember writing that letter at all. That game didn't even come out five years ago. I mean, uh, who could have prepared this letter? I too am quite curious to know. So, you're not the one who wrote that letter? Nuh uh. I mean, uh, what could I possibly gain from doing such an act? Is, oh, is it not necessary for you to stand in court in order to make the truth clear? What can you possibly do? <laughs> Now that your badge has been taken from you, I look forward to finding out from the shadows. This man, how does he know that? Do we have an understanding? Please ensure you do not betray my trust. Now then, if you'll excuse me. He said the case wasn't solved yet. What did he mean by that? And why would Mr. DeKiller even bother telling us that? Ah, uh, nothing makes sense anymore. In this case... Oh, wow. This case has not reached its true conclusion yet. 
However, although I've lost my prosecutor's badge, who, am, who I am still has not changed. While I don't know where this may lead me, I shall reveal the truth. I swear it. Mm. Table, shut the fuck up.